Okay, this might not work out. The plan, I want to build myself my own home, 600 square feet. I'm going to do everything myself. Of course, I have no idea how to do this, but I realize this is the only way I'm going to make it work because, you know, houses are expensive. Okay, first thing, I don't like tiny houses. The whole tiny house thing, I think it's pretty, uh, it's pretty not, not, not my style. Why don't I like the, the tiny house thing? Because they're like 300 square feet or 400 square feet. And you have to like climb up to get in a bed. Have you ever like walked, I mean climbed up to get onto a bunk bed? That hurts your feet big time. I once stayed at a hostel and I was on the top top bunk. Uh, I got up to use the restroom. Now, that really hurts your goddamn feet. So that's one reason. Plus I don't like the other people who they put those uh, tiny houses on uh, trailers. To me that's not a house, it's a trailer. And last thing I want is a trailer. And why 600 square feet? Well, I thought, you know, 20 by 20 is 400. Then I started looking, it's not really space. And the main thing with me is, one, it's cost. And two, I play the drums. So I want a place that I could drum. And so 600 seems doable. It's not too small. And it's not too large. So how much money am I working with? Okay, there's some backstory to that. One, at this phase of my life, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure in some time, not that distant future, I'm going to uh, inherit a house, which uh, won't just be for me because it'll go to both siblings. But I'm thinking, I'm sell it. And hopefully I could uh, get at least uh, 75000 clear for me. And so that will be my budget. And also, you probably know that uh, you can't buy anything for 75000 Well, and I said, like, my main thing is I like to play the drums. I'm a musician. So, so my idea is to buy a piece of lot. And when it comes to buying land, at first I thought, oh, I'll buy out in the country. But if you buy in the country, anywhere in America, you're not going to get toilet lines or city water. And I don't want to deal with that. You know, I could get, you can get uh, a septic tank, but, oh, that's like 10 grand. And then you got to deal with it yourself. And then you got to drill a well. So like, and then there's no cell phone service. And you probably can't even get a... Uh, if you wanted to get like uh, internet through your landline, it's probably not available. I had no idea. Here in the United States, in most states in the rural areas, there's no service. There's nothing out there. So, so I've uh, decided I gotta live in a town, and just without any work, I'll, I heard about, discovered a uh, little town towns a county a county in virginia so so i've settled on county in virginia the town has basically two small towns oh yeah and uh there's a story behind this uh this town this county there's a, a drummer that lives there i don't know the person he's uh kind of famous i saw the band play uh, in 1992, at this time the, the guy, the drummer, was not in the band. They had a different drummer. And the band was opening up for uh, Sonic Youth. And I wasn't even, I don't even really care about that. I'm still not really into the band or the music. It's a little too mellow for me. But what, what I remember about this show, and I don't even care about the uh, Sonic Youth because their show is just like a plain old show 
but in the opening band the drummer was playing and someone threw a hat on the stage and then the drummer stopped playing and he walked over and he inspected the hat and then I guess he uh, got the hat and I guess the singer looked at him and wasn't very happy and I think he told him to like get back onto the drums so I don't know if that if that scene was what caused the drummer to lose his job maybe but then they got another drummer and the new drummer the new drummer uh, he lives in the county and that's pretty cool because not many places in America you can live where there's like a, a professional musician so that'd be cool just to know there's at least uh, one other drummer in the in the county because now here I live in Santa I don't think there's any drummers in Santa yeah there's some bands but I'm not into them and they don't really actually uh, I don't think they take it serious they're uh, more into probably working at HEV at the grocery store it's a more respectful thing and me I want to play the drums so so uh, yeah I gotta I gotta, I gotta get my mind back into this so like you said uh, my budget's 75 and uh, I found a lot in the city it's in the historical district and it was only 20 grand so I'm like oh, okay that's cool obviously I'm not there right now so uh, I'm gonna not be able to buy that lot it's gonna sell to someone else but I did uh the lot is listed as a business and a mixed mixed business so I sent an email to the city and they actually like wrote me back and said yeah you could do this or that what, what shocked me was they were like really cool they're like oh and the, the lot's actually uh, x number of square feet which is a little bigger than i thought and that that never happens to me it's in a historical district so the guy said you could build a you can build small you can build like five six hundred square feet but all construction will have to go through a review board because like I say it's in a historical district and like oh that's that's cool it's like you know like man if that if the lot does stick around until I get there then yeah I will try to purchase it but I can't leave right now but I was just happy that the guy wrote back and he seemed to take me serious because usually my whole life I've been like trying to rent places and every time I rent places and you contact people they don't they don't even seem happy they seem like uh what do you do and oh that ain't no good it's like like they're all a-holes this guy like treated me like a human and i'm like god damn it i should have started uh, doing this whole land thing many years ago because they, they actually don't really uh they're not as, as much a-holes as it is when you're uh okay i don't want to get my feet wet they're not like like a-holes when you want to rent when you rent your rent they're like well what's your job and what you do and blah 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 and then then they say no and then they make you pay money for an application so i just want to say that i think the idea of buying you know land is actually more respectful and a better deal than uh renting no people hardly no shoppers I guess it's not a Busy time right now. Yeah. <laughs> so what was I saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, uh, you know, like I contacted them and they like, it's like that was actually a pretty nice exchange. And so, like I said, uh, I got 75. I'm gonna so like in in the city in metro area 75 ain't gonna get you anywhere but if i build the whole thing myself i'm talking about from foundation uh framing everything i think it's possible i saw some guy actually do a foundation like 1200 and he poured it with just a, a mixer and a bunch of bags 
600 square feet. It's gonna be a... Okay, first step would be to make plans. Because if you're gonna do it yourself, you might as well start by making the plans yourself. So step one, step one would be to uh, make some plans and don't buy them because if you buy them, yeah, I might have to pay thousands of dollars. I need to cross the road. Okay, so, why Virginia? Okay, this is gonna be a Rockbridge County, Virginia. It's, uh, it's far away from really expensive uh, Washington, D.C. It's far away from all of the big metros, Richmond. But the main reason that I think it'd be cool, there's national forest land within say five miles, four miles. And I like to, uh, I like national forest things. I could go there and camp, I could go there and hike. And there's a, uh, there's uh, the, the Blue Ridge Parkway, I ride my bike there. And uh, I have a inflatable kayak. There's a river there, the North River. And farther away, there's the James River. So there's a, uh, and there's actually quite a lot of small houses, but the lot I saw, obviously it's not gonna be there by the time I, I get there, but at least it's, it shows that something is uh, possible. And right now, you know, I think that's all that really matters because it shows that there is, it is possible to find something. So basically the first, first step, if you're gonna build your house your own, make some plans, just do them on your own. Buy some graph paper. Uh, they got some uh, 11, 11 by 16. You could probably take those when you do. Uh, you should have to get a permit. That's actually more than likely adequate. You don't have to be an architect unless you're doing it for other people. That's scary, I heard something moving in there. So yeah, so step one, DIY, build your own house. Uh, get some decent, draw up some decent plans yourself. And figure out where you want the, the toilets. Cause you, you, when you draw plans, you gotta have a, you have to have like a diagram of where the, the toilet thing's gonna come up and the shower thing and the sink thing. So just do that, that's step one. Step one of building your own house. Get up and make them to a kind of to scale. And then I guess step two would be land, buy land, but make sure you, uh, you check what you can do on it. Some places don't allow small homes, like the town where I was looking at, if I would leave the mixed business district, you can't put a 600 foot square feet. It has to be bigger. Some towns have a minimum for different areas or zones, so you gotta do that. I guess I'll talk about that in a future video. I think that's all for now, so signing off. By the way, did you see when I was over there, the guy said, are you filming? I said, no, because I thought he was gonna tell me I can't be filming.